How's it going? Who's up first? Can you walk as a Yeah, I mean, I, I think, um, you know, especially in, in competition mode, you want to try to show what you can do. But I think that it comes with, uh, you know, being mature, being grounded, not trying to do things out of your framework, um, you know, especially with, you know, at times limited reps, right? You, you got to uh, try to make plays. But I think also these coaches are paying attention to the decisions you're making. So, um, you know, I always got to remind myself to just reel it in, uh, stay composed, go through my progressions, uh, and listen to my feet. So how you talk about the bank you had today? I thought today was great. Um, I mean, I don't think I had any completion today. I think I was uh, you know, taking care of the football. I thought I listened to my feet well. I thought I took chances when I had the opportunity to. Uh, and I thought I checked the ball down when it was required. So overall, strong day. You know, I think for me, the biggest thing is just as a young player, staying consistent, uh, stacking day after day. Um, because I know I can make any throw out there that, you know, that's required in this offense. Um, but I think it's just being uh, detailed and disciplined with that. This time last year, it was kind of understood that you were like the number three quarterback. Yeah. How's your uh, mindset going to change this season? You know, I think I got to go into this camp the same way. No fear. Uh, have that underdog approach. You know, I think last year, looking back at it, I had I had a great camp. Uh, I did a lot of really good things. And I think, you know, going into this offense, just learning this system, continuing to build on it, and I feel really comfortable with it. Um, but also knowing that I haven't repped everything in the system. So uh, not being too hard on myself, but being, you know, Discipline with my approach, um, you know, and, and having that swag when I'm out there on the field. Understanding they're going to rotate you and Spencer, like maybe on the day to day basis, who knows, but like to come back the way, like you're working at the threes yesterday, but you're now at the twos and have a really good day, does that do anything for you confidence wise? You know, I always try to tell myself, um, I got to be the most confident guy out there, no matter, no matter what the circumstance is. Um, you know, no matter the situation, I'm just going to keep going through my progressions, keep making throws, uh, and keep trying to lead the guys on the field. So no matter what group it's with, I'll have great command. And, uh, you know, like I said earlier, just keep trying to stack days. Did you walk us through the throw to uh, Shafiq on the kind of side there? Or? Uh, was it the seven on seven? Yeah. Or, or was it, yeah. oh, the down here on this right sideline? Uh, yeah. Did you yeah. catch it low? Yeah. yeah, so yeah. we had we had yeah we had uh, we had double dig called, and I tried to hold that um, that safety. They're playing quarters, so I just needed to pay attention to him, make sure he wasn't going to undercut it. Um, Jonathan made a great break on the ball, but Shahid ran a great route. We were on time, uh, threw it low and away, only where he could catch it. And you know, when you when you're precise and we listen to your feet in this offense, good things happen. Jake, are you kind of excited to see what Shahid can do, stepping into a bigger role, maybe getting more opportunities? Yeah, I mean, the guy's one of the most explosive playmakers probably in this league. Um, you know, they paid him for a reason. They want him around here. They want to see what he can do, um, you know, in the future. And I think the more opportunities he gets, he'll continue to show people. And, you know, same kind of situation. Guy was an undrafted free agent from, from Weber State. Uh, he carries a chip on his shoulder, and we need guys around like that on our team. Did you catch a, a battle one? I actually, I actually um, have a rare form of skin cancer. Um, so for my age, it's kind of rare that, that it pops up like that. So I'm trying to get that evaluated with our training staff. Um, I have a consultation with doctors August 1st on our off day to try to figure out how long I can wait because I have to get a different procedure done on my face. Um, so we're just kind of trying to take the necessary steps uh, in order to see how long I can wait till you know I have to get that procedure done. How do you, how do you juggle that with this? I mean, I imagine that's... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of something that just popped up uh, and I was kind of worried about it my family was kind of worried about it, it was just this random um, odd looking bump that kept growing um, you know and for me it was something that I don't see a lot I don't have a lot of you know acting like that uh, and it popped up and we need to go to the dermatologist they removed it they did a biopsy on it and uh, came back last week right before camp that it was uh, just kind of a rare form of skin cancer for my age like I said and um, you know, we got to get that evaluated with doctors uh, August 1st. So we'll take the nece necessary steps that it, that it takes, and then hopefully when we get back to New Orleans after the preseason, I'll be able to get that procedure done. When did you see it pop up? Uh, it popped up about a week before we reported, a week and a half before we reported. Um, so it was kind of like, you know, something that just popped up. And when things like that pop up, you got to do your best to not ignore it. You got to go take care of it. Uh, my family was great. Training staff has been great about uh, – Dealing with it with me, and uh, obviously just trying to stay focused on on what I got to do here. Are you doing okay 
Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm okay mentally. Um, it's just something, like I said, I got to take care of and, and do the you know, necessary steps. And, and the people here, the people in the building, organization has been great, um, you know, helping me deal with that. What's it called? I, I kind of want to just keep it keep okay. it yeah, between our organization right now. I bet you don't, you're not sure yet if this, if this season will interfere at all with your football schedule. Uh, like I said, I just we're kind of going through the nece necessary steps right now. And August 1st, we're going to go to a you know, different doctor, get evaluated, and, and we'll go on from there. So, will that determine the severity of it? Or, uh, uh, it's just kind of how long I can wait until I need to have a procedure done. Okay. It's not going to be like a life-threatening thing right now. Um, but like I said, if you're with these skin cancer things, if you wait, you know, things spread. So I just got to get it taken care of. AJ, what kind of goes through your mind when the, I guess when the doctor first says that word? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I feel like I'm pretty young and healthy to be able to just have something like that pop up. Um, but I want to take care of it, and I want to be responsible about it, and uh, obviously not make it a distraction because I'm going to be fine. Everything's going to be taken care of. Um, but like I said, I, I don't want to wait too long with something like this, and I want to get it handled. And like I said, the organization has been great with communicating with me and uh, setting things up to, to make sure I'm healthy. I did get a hole-in-one on par four. On a lighter now. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was great. Um, that was back in March or something like that in Florida. I was down in down in Florida playing golf. Um, met a couple guys out there. They invited me back out to play with uh, two foursomes. And uh, eight guys were on the tee box. The next group cleared. I was about 320 yard par four. And sometimes you get lucky. What course, what hole? Uh, it was Plantation Palms, hole 15 or 16. Wait, most important question, what tee box? We were playing the backs. It was 320. It was a poke. I mean, there was water left and right. You know, it was good. What did you hit, driver? I did hit driver, yeah, yeah. Hit a nice cut into the breeze. Landed soft for me. Got lucky. Derek said you're the best golfer on the team, and he has a two-handicap. I'm a plus 2.2 right now. So, yeah. Is that your first one? That was my third. <laughs> First on a par four, though. First on a par four. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank, thank you. Guys. Yeah, Thanks. thank you guys. I appreciate it.